In today's fast-paced business environment, leadership is quickly becoming a critical success criteria. In fact, many top executives have expressed concern about their frontline and mid-level leadership. Today, I'm going to unpack why this is an important issue and what we can do to develop the next generation of leaders. Let's dive in. We've all been through a rough couple of years. We've experienced a pandemic that we never saw coming. We've lived through political unrest that our country hasn't seen in years. We've navigated inflation and supply chain issues that are impacting every business. We now have a hybrid work environment that's forcing us to just find new ways of communicating with our employees, clients, and partners. But the one thing that all these challenges have in common is that they require strong leadership. Unfortunately, it seems that we may be lacking in this regard or the bar is not where it needs to be for many of our businesses to flourish. I've talked with a lot of top executives recently and many of them have expressed a concern about how fast their frontline and mid-level leadership is developing. In every industry, from technology to healthcare to education to whatever, there's a growing leadership concern that needs our attention. It used to be that embracing and leading change was a desired skill for someone in a leadership position. Today, it's becoming a required skill. This may be easier for those who've been in leadership for a, for a while, but who is enabling the next generation of leaders? That's a question we all gotta ask. So what's the problem? Let's unpack this further. See, I believe the root of the problem lies in how we think about leadership. See, too often, leaders are promoted solely on their technical proficiency. However, effective leadership requires a hell of a lot more than technical skills. In order to be successful, a leader must be able to motivate and inspire their team. They must be able to delegate effectively, successfully navigate difficult conversations, and coach those beneath them to level up. How many of your front and mid-level leaders that you recently promoted already have this skill? I bet not a lot. The next challenge is we all is who has the time to enable them? Certainly not the C-suite. While they have this the capability, they certainly don't have the time to teach them the soft skills like communication, influence, and emotional intelligence. Unfortunately, these skills are often overlooked when selecting leaders with, from within the ranks. These are the essential interpersonal skills that every leader needs to communicate effectively and keep their teams motivated. Whether we want to admit it or not, teams in every business are fighting change fatigue. If this leadership void, in my opinion, is left unchecked for too long, teams are gonna grow increasingly less productive, or worse yet, their top talent is gonna to begin to look elsewhere for better opportunities because they're not learning from their frontline leader. So it begs the question, how do we fix this? The first step is recognizing that there's an issue in the first place, and, and just an issue in how we view leadership within our organization, and then two, demanding better from every leader. See, in my opinion, the leadership bar needs to be raised. We have to remind ourselves that no one is born with perfect communication skills. No one is born an effective delegator. No one is born with the influence skills required in today's business environment. In my opinion, leadership is a skill that must be developed and mastered over time. And that only comes with practice and experience. Our leaders need to learn how to effectively lead teams in any situation, both good and bad alike. See, leading others during good times is easy. Leading others through massive, the massive amounts of change that we've all been experiencing over the, over the last couple of years is something completely different. Here are some things to consider. The number one thing that we need to develop in new leaders is confidence. See, way too many mid-level leaders are playing small. They hesitate because they don't have the confidence to express their voice in a way that captivates and motivates others to follow. Think about it for a second. A leader is only as good as those who follow them. Would you follow someone who isn't confident? I know I wouldn't, and I know you wouldn't either. Two, 
We need to help the next generation of leaders to develop decision-making skills. See, every day they are faced with a series of small and big decisions. Most of the time they're required to make a decision with a limited amount of information and data. How are they doing it? What is their criteria for making sound business decisions? Has anyone taught them? See, in all my years of doing leadership workshops, confidence and decision-making rank as the top two skills every mid-level leader needs to develop. Third, we need to help the next generation of leaders to deal with underperforming employees. This is uncharted territory for them. Why do I say that? Because they got promoted by being good at what they do, right? They can't fathom underperformance. Why do I say that? Because the question I get over and over again from many of them is this. Riff, I have a difficult conversation coming up with one of my employees and I'm not sure where to start or what to say. See, the ability to navigate difficult conversations is a required skill for every leader. Now imagine how much more challenging this is for your mid-level leaders. Four, dealing with a lack of resources is yet another area that we need to help the next generation with. See, we all got to where we are, right? Because we've mastered what I, the skill of what I call the creative workaround. Who is helping the next generation of leaders to master this skill? And the telltale sign that this is a problem in your business is when your mid-level leaders lose their shit because they don't have enough resources. This is the one thing that frustrates most C-level executives because they spent their entire career with never having enough resources. Now we gotta teach them how to do the same. Lastly, we need to help the next generation change their relationship with mistakes. See, most are paralyzed by the fear of failure, the fear of making a mistake, or the fear of not being good enough. Instead, we need to teach them that you first have to act. Action of any sort changes things, right? And when you do, what you did is either gonna work or you're gonna learn from it. We need our mid-level leaders to stop worrying about making a mistake and start focusing on taking action. See, intellectually, we get this, but implementing it is something completely different. I could probably spend another hour or more on this topic, but I believe you get my point. Here's the bottom line. We need to develop the next generation of leaders. Those businesses who do grow and scale. Those who don't struggle. Which do you want to be? Whether you're an experienced leader or, have, or a recently promoted leader, the leadership bar must be raised in every business. If you want to develop the next generation of leaders in your business, send your mid-level leaders to the link in the description for our 12-week Self 2.0 Leadership Program. Registration for our next session is now open and we are accepting applications until it fills up. Follow the link in the description if you or someone on your team is interested. If you want to create growth champions throughout your business, Go to clevelfreedom.com and schedule a call and I will show you personally how you can transform your leadership teams into grow champions so you have the freedom to focus on doing what you love. Follow the link in the description for that as well. You know what? If you're at neither of these stages yet, that's cool. I'd like to simply buy you a copy of my book, Freedom to Experiment. How to ignite a new level of energy, focus and momentum in yourself and your team. Follow the link in the description and I'll personally sign a copy for you. Okay, if you like what I shared today, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment related to your business, and of course subscribe. Because each week, I'm sharing content that's gonna help you and your team embrace change, focus your efforts, and accelerate results. Remember this, you're just one idea away. We'll talk to you soon.